This Sunday at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, they're going to have the Jujutsu Kaisen sleeves available on Sleep Chief. And if you use discount code MCO40, you'll get the chance to save. Does that mean other releases also will save 5% with discount code MCO40? Yes, it does. I'll leave a link down below so you can grab yours today. Make sure you guys smash the crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more on this content. You know what's very surprising to me? And I've had a few people go, Rami, you know, the Ghost Trayer should have already dropped to like $40. It's cruise controlling. This, this bad boy has been doing his thing. And, you know, I'm genuinely happy to see that this set is holding this Ghost Rare actually up at some sort of value here. Which means that there still is a little bit of hope for the Fire Duels pack. It's not a lot! Trust me on that! But, you know, when the set's down to $33 a box, it is it is not good. <laughs> Alright, at all. Now, interesting little things. I mean, so I'm angry to fire. Still holding at 16. Trooper, uh, unfortunately, is not holding where it should be anymore. We're down to 7. Raging Phoenix, down to 7. The Uppercutter, down to 3. Dempsey, down to 3. Emperor, 3 bucks. Um, Promoter, a dollar. Yeah, um, this set has lost any real hope that it had left. The cool thing is, once again, I mean, the Ghost Rare is kind of the barren to floor of the set. It is holding itself up. It's not barren by any stretch of the imagination, but it is interesting to see how things are going. So that's your check-in on that. Now, guess what? Spiral cards. You know, we got that new spiral card, which I still think it's it's a cool in terms of design, but uh, we, haven't, we haven't really had a retrace back on the quick fixes. People are still holding out for a future list here. I mean, you can already tell you've had sales over the last couple of days that, I mean, a push this still at $70. People, people are still investing in their quick fixes here because they still believe in the card. You know, well, we're not even going to talk about Big Red. And the fact that double helixes are still holding at $11? People still believe. People think Master Plan's coming back on a future list, and... I don't know what to say about it. I think it can come back to one. I don't think it's a big deal, but Super Agents actually holding at $4 for the Ultras. That's actually insane. I mean, well, imagine if Michigan or Mission, or if we do see, you know, a comeback on the deck and Mission Rescue just gets cratered off the market. They're a dollar right now. I hope you have your Supers of these because if one piece of something moves, whoo, it's going to be wild. Yep. Little master plan at 50 cents. What else we got back here? Hey, quarter century lebellions. How, how are these holding up? You know, we just got the reprint crater into the ground um, here. So, I mean, this is technically the highest rarity, right? Well, um, it's really haven't bumped down. You've lost like 25 bucks, uh, you know, heading down on the lowest. I mean, you've only got four verified people up here on the top end of this. That is also kind of interesting. The Darkwing Blast versions, unironically, they did bottom out even further, but they've been they've been cruising. People want the original prints of these versus the slightly more acceptable available version, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, $28 is your lowest right now on these. And once again, if people are wanting to pick up the originals versus the Prismatic Seeker rares from this year's tins, that's a whole nother interesting little piece of candy here. And then I see the dissipator here still is at the $17 mark. Okay, so not much has really changed on the top end of the bike steel food chain, I feel like. You've got a little bit of value decreasing with our friend Mr. You know, expensive up here, quarter century, but it's to be expected. Ah, Magnificas. <sighs> you know, you either you pick up the deck in super high rarity, which is going to give you collector's rares, starlights, you know, the entire very nice spread. You can get all of the cool versions that you want, or you pick up kind of the low rarity, go with the rares and stuff, or you go with like the mid-range chic rare stuff, at least for the high-end stuff. If you want a nice Magnifica, I mean, you can get a light play for $100, 99 I don't think that's terrible. Starlight Magnifica, or Martha's are hundreds. And you look at down here, like some of the collector's rares, 30 bucks, $22, $20, $14. Bucks. You know, Martha's from Power of the Elements are $3, actually sub $3 at the moment. So, once again, 
Hey, you got a lot of good value drop back here for the people that did want to pick up this deck. Feel bad for the people that actually held on to this because, yeah, that's, that's a lot of value to be losing. Hey, purely cards, you know? I, I will say this. For as competitive as this deck has been, it is not the most expensive thing in the world, actually. Um, you can get a nice collector's rares for 90 bucks, which isn't terrible. We're down to 82s on the My Friend Purely's. Pretty memories are down to... So we got one Fire Cell for 55, you punt up to 64. Now this is... this is beautiful. The Ultra Purely Lily is down to $25. I actually, this has been amazing to watch. It stinks when like new modern era alties just give out so quickly anymore. Thrust has been the only real thing that has maintained and even so, it already dropped from under the 100 to what we've seen at 75 to 80 bucks on a constant track record. So I know a lot more people are waiting for that to give out a little bit more so they can actually pick those up. And then we have Ultra Purely's spinning around here, still under 20 bucks the way it looks. Yeah, 18, 18, or your last solds, 17 bucks. Yeah, we're uh, we're definitely doing our thing here with this. Not all that surprising to be honest. 15, still 15, and then sub a dollar. <laughs> Yikes. What else we got going on back? Oh, the hydrants. Well, <laughs> congratulations everybody. Collectors rare hydrants are uh, even further bought out. <laughs> this is hilarious. There are that's it. That's your that's your listings. All right, I understand that like people are hyped as crap to get the chance to play the DBL Star stuff with this, but this is a little bit expensive. All right, you shouldn't you shouldn't have to spend this much money to get some blinged out hydrants. Who does have in this deck? Oh, that's disgusting. We're at forty three dollars right now. If you want to pick up hydrants, you know, I. If you want to cash out of the deck, this is a fantastic opportunity to do so. I didn't think that we would hit this level, but, you know, they're doing their thing. <laughs> Amazing defenders have purely had rescue it. It is such... Uh, wow. Slime Toad. You know these are like 20 cents for the OTS pack version? And it's only because of the name change. So there's nothing else really too crazy to this. Re Restructure Revolution. You know, this is just paying your opponent for some damage. I see the cruise control here has been six dollars. Somebody actually bought one a little while back for collection, but uh, this is your TP6 little collector's version of this. Just a nice little piece of history. Uh, high or ignoble knight, high landslim. The card that certain players are trying to play right now to kind of combat drawn lockbird so that infernoble can still have some combo lines, or at least make it look like they're attempting to play the game. I see that Secrets, still 15 to 18 bucks now, let's change there. I see that some of the Platinum Rares calming down down here, 9, 10 bucks, okay. Uh, or got the Relentless, these actually bottomed out really hard. Remember this was a $5 card, remember so many people were like, oh my gosh, Orgoth the Relentless, Robbie, and I'm just like, yeah, what about it? Like, <laughs> it's, it's decri declining. That's what you want to see here. Now, ready for a blast from the past. So I got recommended some Duel Master stuff today from Mark Watch. Somebody's like, Robbie, go look up good old Balam, the Master of Death. And, you know, just go see what's going on with this. See, 125 some $600 buy it now version over there, which is uh, good luck half rise. Um, just toggle into, like, completed back here. 105 Um I think it's, we got one for 76 you mean to tell me that old Duel Master stuff is worth something still? Yeah, it actually is, which is kind of interesting. I actually pulled up the Duel Masters um, search just for English, and boy, oh boy, I remember some of these. $50, by the way, for the Steel Dragon. Good old Bullshock Dragon, $200 on a buy it now. That's actually insane, <laughs> looking at some of this stuff. Like, I know this wasn't like, now people did enjoy this, but... The original, original version was something interesting to watch. Ended recently? Huh. We have all the cool comics that I guess were fairly recent to move. I actually forgot that this did have comics. Product God Art. in the world? That's actually really cool. Okay. Not a lot of sales data back here, honestly. Uh, but it is interesting 
to see what people still value in the collectible market world place. So what do you guys think about today's market? Please leave a comment down below. Tell me what you guys think. I'll see your beautiful faces back here later in the day, guys. Peace. Patrons, thank you. Thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.